Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So I've actually been sitting on this video for the past few months, slowly working on it, finding the best data that I could, making sure my math is accurate. And sure enough, as soon as I'm about ready to, to get this video going, Dr. Leo Venus put out a very similar video to mine. He was looking at how sustainable a grass-fed beef diet is, which is what made me want to make this video. I've heard for years from like the paleo crew how it's so sustainable and ecological best for our planet and all this, yet I was never seeing any actual numbers, any mathematics to support these claims. And now with the rise of the popularity of carnivore diets, you're seeing people that actually do this, eat nothing but grass-fed beef. So we'll see how true these claims are. And we'll and you'll see that my video's similar and, and different to Dr. Venus's video. We have some similar conclusions. We approach this from a slightly different point of view. My whole goal was to see how sustainable an all beef diet was in terms of can planet Earth sustain it? Can our planet sustain an all meat diet or do we need to have multiple Earths and if so, how many? So the first order of business, we need to start our math and I'm gonna start by figuring out how much meat, how much grass-fed beef, someone who's on an all carnivore diet eats in a day. And a little bit of searching finds a, a normal range, an average range of around two to four pounds a day. And I'm gonna go, and as you'll see with all the calculations I make here, I'm gonna go with the lower ends of the estimates so no one can accuse me of hyperinflating my numbers to get a conclusion that I'm seeking. So let's say two pounds a day of beef. So if you're eating two pounds of grass-fed beef a day and there's 365 days in a year, then that's a total of 730 pounds of grass-fed beef eaten in one year. So what I'm trying to arrive at mathematically is how many cows does one person eat per year and then go from there, how many cows does everyone in the world eat per year for everyone's eating meat. So anyway, let's start with one person here. So if you're gonna buy an entire cow in a retail store, you get about 440 pounds per cow. Yes, I've read if you raise your own cows and you can process it yourself, you'll get substantially more, but we're not, that's not the vast majority of people. So we're gonna say 440 pounds of meat per whole cow. So if my numbers are accurate about how much meat a person eats per year, roughly 730 pounds, that's 1.66 cows eaten per year by one person. All right, so now we can do some fun, easy, simple math to calculate how many cows must be slaughtered in order for every person on this planet, all 7.8 billion of us, if we're all on a carnivore diet eating grass-fed beef. So given that there's 7.8 billion people and each human requires 1.66 cows per year, that translates into 12.9 billion cows to be slaughtered, to be eaten in a year. So that's nearly 13 billion cows, but sadly the numbers need to increase a bit from there because cows require more than 12 months in order to go from birth to maturity to the point where they're actually eaten. And there's varying numbers depending on how cows are raised. Grass-fed cows take a little bit longer than factory farm grain-fed cows. So I'm gonna take it a middle ground here. Instead of saying two years or upwards, I'm gonna say 18 months. That seems a fair, nice, safe, conservative average. So in order to account for both the nearly 13 billion cows that are slaughtered in a given year, plus the other cows that are still growing to be slaughtered later on, you're gonna have a roughly 50% increase over that 13 billion cattle count. So we're talking over 19 billion cows on the planet at any one given time. So that's an insane amount of cows for our planet to be carrying. The question is, is it even physically possible to sustain Earth carrying over 19 billion cows. Well, let's do the math on this. Let's see how much land a single cow requires. One that is free range, grass fed, all that. And I'm, again, take the lowest of the estimates I could find here. And I saw that uh, Dr. Venus actually used a higher, slightly higher number than I'm using here. He found two acres per cow to be his lowest. I found an estimate that said 1.8 acres seems doable. So I'm gonna go with 1.8 acres per cow. So given that we have over 19 billion cows that we need to have on the earth, times that by 1.8 acres per cow, and you have nearly 35 billion acres that are required to sustain all these cattle. 
So given that just 29% of the Earth's surface is land, the rest is water, that doesn't leave too much left for all these 19 billion cattle to roam and eat all their grass. Well, let's see how much surface there really is in terms of acres. Well, according to this chart here, and this is all United Nations data, there are 149 million square kilometers of land on Earth, and that translates into roughly 37 billion acres 37 billion acres for all these cattle to roam on well remember just a second ago we said there's about 35 billion acres that are necessary for all these cattle because of the 1.8 acres per cow so that doesn't leave much room we'd have to cover the entire earth all of civilization every last snow field every last desert with cattle so obviously that's not going to happen there's no way to cover the entirety of our planet with grass and cattle eating all this grass upon at pretty much every square inch of the world so that alone shows you that everyone going fully grass-fed beef is completely sustainable it just won't work on this planet and to show you how even more ridiculous of an idea it is let's look at the land that's actually appropriate for agriculture and growing grass for for cattle to graze on and that reduces down to just 51 million square kilometers, which is only 12.6 billion acres. Remember, we need about triple that. We need about 35 billion acres for 19 billion cattle to be free roaming and eating grass all the time. So you would need roughly, this is my calculation now, you'd need roughly three planet Earths in order for everyone on the planet to be able to eat 100% grass-fed beef diet. Three planet Earths. And once again, I wanna emphasize, every time when I made a calculation here, when there was an estimation of like how much meat a person ate per day, how many acres a cow used, I went with the most conservative numbers, the lowest ends of those ranges. So the numbers could actually be much higher than what I calculated here. And another case in point, I wanna, going back to um, Leo Venus's video, he used a, a diff, an additional factor that would have made my numbers even higher. He looked at how you need actually more cows than what's given in my calculations, because you need cows to actually breed new cows into existence. You need cows to mate to breed. So the numbers could be as much as double more, you know, but instead of 19 billion cows necessary, you need closer to 35, 40 billion cows if everyone on this planet were to go all carnivore, all grass fed beef. But the, the point I wanna make is any way you slice it, it's completely unsustainable. The numbers just don't add up. Well, they do add up and they add up to about three Earths to have everyone going grass-fed beef, all carnivore. So, like I said, you'll see people saying how it's great for the Earth, it's so sustainable. Well, ask them, show me the money, show me the numbers, show me how it all adds up because it just simply doesn't add up. It's completely not sustainable. So show people this video, link to this video if you have anyone claiming that they're all meat diet, all just eating beef all the time, every day, every meal is so sustainable for the earth. Well, you just tell them, hey, you're one of the lucky, lucky privileged few that can do it because you just can't scale this up. But there's just simply not enough land on earth. And thus Elon Musk goes up in outer space and builds a few more sister earths for us to populate with cows. That'd be a tragedy, that'd be a waste of space, not just to populate a planet with cows so people here could eat meat all day. Anyway, leave your questions and comments down below share with me your thoughts let me know if you saw something about my numbers that you want to point out some estimations that you thought could be perfected more and maybe it's it's worse than i said or maybe you need four or five or so earths to do this so let me know down below share this video hit like subscribe to our channel and until next time guys let's keep it carved